Hey everyone, how's it going? And two weapons back again with you. I was in the safe today doing a little bit of organizing and thought I would just do a quick video on the Smith & Wesson MMP line of firearms that are in my collection. Uh, I can't say enough about this company. As a lot of you know, I'm a huge fan. I got a few of them in my collection as you can see here. Uh, but, you know, ultimately they're, they're great firearms, very reliable, very durable. They're trusted by military and police organizations around the world. Uh, and they come with a lifetime warranty, so you got that peace of mind, and that's something that I really, uh, really like about the Smith & Wesson brand is uh, they stand behind their product, and you know, you might have a hiccup or two like I did with the Smith & Wesson bodyguards, uh, even with the Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 pistol that I have, uh, but they, they stood behind their product and took care of it uh, very quickly, very easily, and it didn't cost me a dime, so uh, I really have to attest to that. I'm really proud to say that uh, I have a few of these in my collection, and I'm not... Uh, um, scared to take them to the range and beat them up a little bit. So, uh, without further ado, let's kind of just go through each one of these guns, and I'll just do a quick overview for you, and maybe point something out, or you'll see something that you like, and uh, you'll go and purchase one yourself. All right, guys. I guess we'll kind of start over here on the left-hand side. This is the Smith and Wesson M&P 1522P or pistol version of the 1522 rifle. Everything's exactly the same as the rifle. Internal dimensions. Uh, everything is interchangeable. It's got the 25 plus one round capacity. It's got the working charging latch. Uh, it's got the working bolt release there. Um, sling attachment on the back. Can't remember exactly how long the uh, barrel is, but it's got the A2 compensator on there. Overall, just a real fun gun. Uh, no practical reason to it. I got a few videos out this uh, of this out there already. Uh, if you're interested, go out there and check that out. Uh, but overall, just a fun gun. Um, that's pretty much it for that one. Smith and Wesson M&P 380, uh, Bodyguard 380 is the next one here. This is our CCW gun. My wife and I both carry this. It's got the built-in laser, uh, six plus one round capacity. Um, actually the laser has two settings I'll show you. It's got the solid and then the, the strobe which is kind of neat. Um, had a few hiccups with this gun. Uh, sent it back to Smith & Wesson. They fixed it. Everything is fine now. Haven't had any issues with it since. Overall real nice concealed carry weapon. The next one we got here is the Smith & Wesson M&P 9mm. And uh, this is our home defense gun. Keep this in the nightstand. Uh, it's got uh, 17 plus 1 round capacity. Uh, 9 millimeter caliber as I mentioned. Uh, it's got the interchangeable back straps which is a real nice feature. Uh, you can kind of buff it out a little bit with the uh, large version and uh, make it easier if you got bigger hands. Got the Crimson Trace light guard on there as you can see. Um, got some night sights, ambidextrous thumb safety, uh, ambidextrous bolt uh, hold open there as you can see. Uh, takedown lever, real easy to take down. Um, you have to use the pin that's given to you in the bottom here to push the sear down in there to uh, be able to do that. Uh, but overall, real nice uh, little pistol. Um, definitely something I'd highly recommend if you're looking for a home defense type gun. Next one we got here is the uh, newest in the collection is the Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 rifle. So the full version of the pistol that we have. Uh, again, 25 plus one round capacity, mag release, uh, working mag release there, uh, charging handle, uh, it's got the uh, bolt release there, as you can see. Um, free floating rail. I got the uh, little bit better version than just the standard. It's got the A2 compensator on the front threaded barrel. Uh, it's got the open sights here, as you can see. Uh, adjustable rear stock. Uh, if you're looking for something to go out there and train at the range with, if you have an AR-15, this would uh, be a, a real good option, especially if you have uh, the next rifle that I'm about to show you, which is the... Uh, Smith & Wesson MMP 15 and if you have this it's a lot cheaper to go out with the 1522 and plink away it's got the same exact feel to it so um, ultimately if you want a real good training experience without having just to do a, a conversion kit on your gun uh, that's a good way to do it. Uh, this one again has uh, the threaded barrel I got a, a Troy uh, medieval brake on there it's got the stock on this particular one because it's the tactical version it has the Troy Industries uh, MMP logo uh, open iron sights, which are really cool. They're flipped down. Uh, I put the charging latch on there, as you can see, the extended tactical charging latch. Haven't upgraded the stock yet. Do have the uh, Fab Defense uh, ergonomic pistol grip, which I really, really like. Um, got the bad uh, battery assist lever here, badass, otherwise known. 
as you can see that works real nicely i've heard a lot of people have difficulties with this particular uh rifle with that that upgrade so um maybe double check on that a little bit or uh, keep your receipts if you order that and you're having some issues. I guess the paddle wasn't seating correctly over here to uh, let the uh, bolt release work properly. Uh, but overall, real nice gun. As you can see, i got the mag release or uh, the magwell grip on there, which I really like doing when I'm in a prone position and I'm using my bipod that also uh, works as my foregrip in a standing position. Uh, so that's kind of a cool um, upgrade if you're looking to do something like that. Uh, of course, the P-Mag with the Ranger plate. Uh, overall, real nice gun though. Free float barrel, heavy barrel, uh, free float rail and heavy barrel. Um, 223 556 caliber, so you can shoot it all day long with pretty much anything. Uh, I do notice it hiccups every now and again with steel case rounds, uh, or at least the cheap WPA steel uh, case rounds. Could be the uh, just the uh, manufacturer itself because it's a pretty cheap brand. So, uh, overall, I love this rifle. Uh, it's just fun upgrading it as well. Uh, I would highly recommend this one too. So that's pretty much it guys, uh, hope you enjoyed, if you have any questions feel free to let me know, but uh, again I highly recommend the MMP line of uh, rifles and pistols by Smith & Wesson, you certainly can't go wrong. So until next time, take her easy.